in today's video we are going to create an amazing poster design for Corona Extra. Grab your mouse as we dive in. First things first, we are going to create a new document. Choose a solid color. Let's grab our asset. Holding down the shift key, we are going to copy these two layers together. With the layer in place, we are going to create a mask with a mask selected. We grab the gradient tool. Foreground is set to black, then we are just going to drag this way to erase. We do same for this. Control T to transform. Position it right here. Grab this item. Convert that to a smart object. We are going to grab this item, Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. With this layer selected, Ctrl J to make a copy. Ctrl T, we right click and we are just going to flip that vertically. We drop the layer. We are going to create a curves adjustment layer. Create a level adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. We are going to create a color balance adjustment layer. Reduce the opacity. We 
this layer selected, we are going to create a max. With a max selected, we are going to grab the pen tool. Reduce the opacity. With the pen tool, we are going to create a selection. Once we have a selection, we are going to grab any of the marquee tool, right click, and we are going to fill that with the foreground color. Ctrl D to the select, and we can take opacity back to 100. With the layer selected, we are going to create a solid color. Right click and we are going to clip it onto the layer. Set blend mode to soft light. Ctrl J to make another copy. Right click and we are going to clip it as well. With the mark selected, Ctrl I to invert. With a soft hand brush. Organ is set to white, then we are just going to paint some back. We are going to create an exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. With the max selected, Ctrl I to invert. With a sub -turn brush, B for brush, we are going to reduce the opacity. Foreground is set to white, and we are going to paint some shadows. We are going to create another exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. With the mark selected, Ctrl I to invert. With a soft hand brush, we are going to paint some shadows. With this layer selected, we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. With the mark selected, Ctrl I to invert. With a soft hand brush, foreground is set to white. And we are going to be painting some shadows. So we create a new layer. Foreground is set to black, then we are just going to paint some shadows right here. Reduce the opacity. So we are going to grab this item. Position it right here.
with the land place. We are going to create a max. Reduce the opacity with the max selected. We are going to grab the pen tool, create a selection. Control enter to create a selection. Grab any of the marquee tool. Right click and we are just going to fill that with the foreground color which is black. Ctrl D to deselect. With the layer selected, we are going to be painting some shadows. We are going to create an exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. With the max selected, Ctrl I to invert. With the soft hand brush. Foreground is set to white, we are going to paint some shadows. With the layer selected, we are going to right click and go for blending options. So we are going to apply a drop shadow. Close it up. Right click and create layer. We are separating the shadow onto a new layer. Right click and convert that to a smart object. Apply Gaussian Blur. Reduce the opacity. With the layer selected, create a max. With the max selected, grab a soft hand brush. Foreground is set to black. Increase opacity. There, we are just going to be masking out. We are going to mask out all this portion. We are going to create a new layer right here. With a soft hand brush, we are just going to paint some shadows. So we are just going to add a sign race, try to match the color, then we finish it up. Once we have everything in place, we are going to press Ctrl Alt Shift E to merge all layers. Right click and convert that to a smart object. Then we will go for camera raw, so filter, camera raw, filter. We are going to play with these settings until we like the outcome. Once that is looking good, then we hit OK. Thank you so much for watching guys. I do hope to see you in the next one. Till next time, stay creative.